What's up guys? Today we actually got a big boost in our PvP progress. Now it isn't the biggest deal in the game, but I did happen to finally get 3 star, three star blessing on Tormin, which is gonna give us 600 defense. It might not sound the grandest deal that you got 3 star blessing, but it's still an upgrade. I really like the Tormin. I don't like him. Uh, I have like love and hate relationship with Tormin. He's useful, he makes a lot of sense in some battles in Live Arena, and he almost seems like something that I would need, because he can do AoE on A1, so he's good against lockout, he doesn't scale from ignore defense, and he has a passive that can counter speed teams. It seems like um, marriage made in heaven for an account like mine, but I always get disappointed with, with his damage, he can never kill anybody, he's kind of old and clunky, even though he's good and makes sense. But 600 defense I think is gonna go, go a long way, so let's see how we do today. Probably not gonna use him in, in every fight, we'll see. Probably I will be using him more now than I was before. And. I wanna get 4 star Narasus first, so I can get 4 star Tormin if it appears tomorrow. But after I get Narasus done, I probably will do it. The thing is that I want to get Marius as well at 4 star, but probably it would take forever to get the like 1 and 2 star split souls and so on. So it could be that by the time that I have enough tokens to do it, I have so much tokens that I could have gotten Tormin to 4 star as well, so I will probably go with Tormin first and then Marius, but we'll see. You never know, maybe I get lucky and I pull out a 4 star Marius soul. That would be super cool. I'll definitely put it in the wish list. I kind of wish that they would have added the Marius soul on the. like. Um, on the missions, even if it wasn't 6 star, but maybe 4 star, would have been super cool. I thought that there would be a good chance that they would do it, but it didn't end up happening. Though, I wouldn't totally rule it out. I think they did the event for UDK Soul, and I think it was the same with Wukong, at least with UDK. I think that event was like um, maybe a couple months after the original UDK event already ended, I think. So maybe they would do a Marius event. I think there's definitely a good chance for that at least. Gismark and Harima. And it's with Arbe, so it's really bad to go with Rotos here. I'm kind of tempted to get Rotos for the Polymorph mainly. Okay. Mm, I think we're still gonna do it. Yeah, we're still gonna go with Rotos. Even against Harima and, and our base. And the same with Duchess. We're gonna use Duchess, even though she's kind of outdated. But both of them have Polymorph. They are my two champions with 6 star blessing, so it kind of makes it worth using them. Anyway, today is all positive vibes. My my yesterday's video was super negative. I'm probably gonna get get some angry comments about it, but um, I feel like I wasn't the one in wrong and I was angry and I wanted to make that video. Probably it wasn't smart, but I did it anyway. It, it is what it is. Let's just get some get some wins and happy battles today. Yeah. Let's go for the R base spam. I do have double reviver and double polymorph, so it doesn't look totally impossible. I wonder if that's a Wukong with how much accuracy though. The polymorph could be could be super annoying. Oh nice, okay. We got rid of the geese mark. That's why that's why like I said, I have to go with those two old champions, because the polymorph is just too good to pass up on. 
Might that be actually... No, it's probably still a Wu Nook Wukong. I was gonna say that might it be the rare breed of support Wukong with full accuracy and speed instead of damage. Those have kind of not been used in a while, but probably it's not. We'll, we'll see. I would be shocked if it was. Oh wait, we can we can get rid of the Wukong right away. Bye bye. Even even Harima passive couldn't couldn't save the Wukong. Can I kill the CP with A2? If CP dies, it's instantly over. Ah, so close, so close. I think we're good though. We're kind of looking strong at this point. Ugh. Yeah, Gizmark is terrifying. <laughs> he does a double hitting AoE nook that puts down decreased defense and gets the extra turn on kill. It's just insane, but he only has that... He doesn't have like multiple hard nook skills, so... It's kind of okay. I mean, he has hard nook on the first form when he like activates the burns, but at least he can follow with, with a second terrifying AoE nook after he gets extra turn. That would be super powerful. Okay, I was gonna say that probably I shouldn't have revived my Rotos, but as long as I don't weak it, we're, we're good. Otherwise we might still... we might still lose. It's not over until it's over. <laughs> Come on, let, let us get the Polymorph. I mean... Did we get one on Harima? I don't think we got one on Harima, but we did get Polymorphs. Already. Okay, I think we're, we're good. Double Reviver is pretty powerful, unless they have something like, I don't know, Lazarus or Georgit, that are just gonna... Georgit is just gonna wipe my team every time it gets to do any skill, and Lazarus is gonna lock me out, and also gonna pump out powerful AoEs constantly. He's not gonna run out of them very fast. Okay. Started out with the win. We totally could have lost it. It was pretty powerful enemy, but Polymorph, Polymorph did the job. Where do I have it? I was trying to prey on the almighty uh, sheep totem on the last video, and in the battles that I did it, it didn't pay, pay it off at all, but... <laughs> I think we're still gonna keep it uh, keep it as a pet. <laughs> My pet polymorph. Brock hates this. I <laughs> yeah, I like it. Let's, let's just put it that way. I mean, I know I know polymorph is annoying, but I I need this. I need this polymorph. I'm not I am not ashamed to say that I really need the polymorph. Otherwise, I can't win. <laughs> it is what it is. Polymorph is often my win condition, and I would do a lot worse if it didn't exist. So, thank God for a thank God for a polymorph. Thank God for a Plarium for implementing it. Let me know in the comments why I am an idiot and wrong <laughs> for saying that. But that's how I feel about it. P polymorph and Fatalis are like one of the are the two big things that I'm kind of in minority and lots of people give me pushback but I'm a bit stubborn on those issues so I am not gonna I'm not gonna admit that I'm wrong on those because I'm right <laughs> I don't think you expect that me to say anything else but yeah I, I'm right everybody else is wrong life is that simple for sure oh it's a speed team mm hmm we might need CV ban, but maybe we can pull out the tournament here. L yeah, let's still go with Narsus and Mikage. But the last two could be like Tormin and Ankara, maybe. Th that way we will have two buff strips, so... Uh. 
And Krixi also does do immunity, which is kind of easy. So. Mm, but he only has one nuke left. I feel like I should still go with Tormin. Should we just go with Ankor and Tormin and ban the Sifi instead of Krixia? That's kind of what I'm thinking about. Should I just go with Rotos anyway? Mm, I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but um, let's give Tormin a chance. <laughs> Probably next time I'll just go with Rotos because he's so good, he can brute force things that he should. Oh. Okay, that Mesomel is good, and I really wanted to ban the Sifi, not Mesomel. We have to go for the Mesomel ban, though, sadly. We still have the double bar strip with Mikage and Tormin technically does have it on a 2 but he's not gonna get locked uh, he's not gonna get frozen at the start maybe Arbiter is faster than Sifi but probably not in that case she okay she's not gonna use the skill I don't think so but yeah Lazarus still does attack buff I don't think it really helps me What is he gonna do? Can he lock me out instantly? I think he can just kill Dormin and lock me out. I don't think his defense is gonna make him tanky enough. Yeah. And Krixia does have immunity, which is tricky. Wait, Lazarus does too, right? I think Lazarus also has. I have to double check, but the, yeah, there's so many, so many primals that do immunity, even like nukers and non-revival champions. Traditionally, we think it's like full supers that do immunity buff, but now there's so many other ones too. Nice, nice. We we got a three, so Tormin did something. Ah, ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> Too much turn meat. Oh no no. Oh thank God. We would have lost if I didn't got in with Narsus, but thank God we're gonna get turned before Lazarus. He has too many like turn meter boost and increased speed buffs and so on. And <laughs> ah didn't didn't get the didn't get the free star. We really needed it. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. We're like we're battling on like the edge of the knife. Every time if I don't cut in before Lazarus, it's over and there's no comeback. But somehow I barely am am able to disrupt the Lazarus. I feel like not. He's he has those cooldown resets and everything. But I feel like he's gonna maybe I'll have like a couple turns of breathing room with no revives and okay never mind Sque squeezy enough that we were actually able to do it with Narsus. Tormin didn't really do any damage here but he was actually useful so good job Tormin you actually won us a battle I'm like on the videos where I use him and then I'm always complaining that he doesn't do damage I often get somebody telling me that okay that might be that the, that case for you, but for me, Tormin is super good and has enough damage, and I don't even run him in Nuxet, or it's much worse than your gear. It's either in worse gear or in stun set or something like that. But those people always, you know, have like multiple lockouts and Sifi, and they run it in like uh, some type of speed team against other speed teams. Me, I often struggle with the damage, but I know he has the potential. That's why I'm giving him the time of the day and I'm investing on Dormin blessings, even though most people wouldn't really consider Dormin a relevant champion, except like some of the super endgame players that still use him in Live Arena. There's no way that Dormin is ever gonna be a thing in Classic Arena. I would be shocked, but you never know, of course. But yeah, no, no way. 
There's no way. Not with Quixia and Galatir and that kind of champions. Stone skin would be have to be removed and there ha should be some kind of like a powerful way to counter immunity sets. What? We meet another speed team in draw. <laughs> this isn't scripted, but I guess uh, I guess it fits the team. If team of the video, if I make this uh, Dormin showcase with the new shiny blessing, I wouldn't wouldn't mind getting multiple speed teams as long as they don't have immunity buff. <laughs> Please don't be Cassifi. Warlord already, do already does it, and I don't want him to have too many champions that can do it. What? Tranda and Lysandra, that's a weird team. I'm... I feel like maybe I fought this guy recently, but I'm super impressed that he's... <laughs> he's these high points on a team like this. He must have very powerful builds, but it's actually kind of impressive. He's using the Tranda and Lysandra. I'm sure he has like 460 speed Arbiter, but even still, it's kind of cool. Should we go with Stal? <laughs> Should we go with Staldos to get weak hits from from Tranda? That would be kind of funny. No, Duchess. Yeah, Duchess is gonna be good against it. Duchess and Tormin or. I think we're still gonna go with the Tormen. Yeah, we have the... He has a squeezy team, and we have Armands and Mikage. He can only ban one of them, so... He might not even ban Armands, he might even go for Mikage ban, because he's certainly much faster than me. But both of them do have buff strip, and Tormin still has his single target pseudo buff strip on A2. That's actually his hardest hitting skill, but you don't usually want to open with that. We're still gonna go for the Warlord ban, so... Oh, he did ban Armands. I was gonna say that even if he doesn't ban Armands and goes for Mikage or something else, Armands will definitely get a turn and destroy him because of the stone skin, but looks like um, that's not even gonna be relevant. I thought that he might not ban it because he had the Warlord, but I mean, people usually do go for the Warlord warlord or local ban for a reason. Come on, Tormin. You can do better. I hope he doesn't die. Does he have enough damage to kill it? Oh, he went for Narsus. It's kind of smart, but I feel like he probably shouldn't have done that. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, um, I, I guess Tranda stunned Narsus, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. I was thinking that does he have like Rotos on stun set? But nah, no, nah, Tranda stunned. Narsus, right? Surely, I'm so confused. It's burned and it has stun. I, yeah, I, I guess that's how it works. You, I almost forget about that mechanic because I never see it in practice, but yeah. If you don't get burn, you get double hit, then Tranda does a lot of damage, but if you do get burn, I guess you then get the stun. Yeah, that that's how it works. It's kind of funny that I can't even know a basic thing like that. Not be relevant, so was a little bit weird to me. Can we one shot Trotos? Okay, not quite, but it's definitely game over. Time to time to build Tormin, guys. For sure, super useful. I don't know if... Okay, calm down, Rotos. Calm down. Don't make me lose after after I'm already claiming my victory. Don't don't do this to me. I've been through this humiliation too many times. Just, just let me have this one. Anyway, not even close. I totally, totally destroyed him. But, uh, yeah, Tormin is useful. Not... In every battle, not in most battles, but for some for some RNG 
like some dice dice uh, draw that the RNG Jesus did. For some reason, we got two speed teams in a row. I actually don't really see Arbiter that much. Often the speed teams are like, yeah, like this guy. They're even using Shu Chen and not Arbiter. But this guy went with, uh, or these two guys went with her in a row. And Tormin was actually super useful. I mean, it's useful against Shu Chen too, but Arbiter is even better matchup for Tormin because we can freeze the entire team if we get lucky. And like, you know, both her revive and attack buff, both of both of them can, can freeze the team, so it's very hard counter for Arbiter. That's why Tormin used to be meta years ago, when everybody used Arbiter in offense, but that hasn't been the case for... I mean... It wasn't even the case when we got Shu Chen, people were not using Arbiter offense. Dazzle's offense actually used to be meta around the time that Shu Chen was released, I think. But even when people sometimes run speed teams, like full-on speed teams, which isn't that common anymore, but it's generally with Shu Chen, and Mikage is also a great option instead of Arbiter. They might, for instance, run Sifi and Mikage and not Arbiter. Or Sifi and Shu Chen. I mean, either one works, usually the combo is like Chu Chen and Chorchid. It's kind of uh, hard to deal with that team. Okay, what's going on? This is like a scripted video. We got another speed team? Are you kidding me? What? Both of these can get frozen when they revive. And they are not tanky. They are like perfectly ideal matchup for Tormin. I mean, I, I'll take it, I'll take it, but kind of weird. We don't even need Polymorph in, in this matchup, but maybe he maybe he uses it, that it could be hard against us, but speed, speed teams don't usually really like go hard on Polymorph, so probably not. I mean, to be fair, this guy has Smite, so... What? What? What is? What are we meeting today? This guy is super high points. I mean, he's 4,600 points. I guess that's called 3, not called 4, but even still. We met two guys with Tranda and Arbiter. What is this arena session? Um, I think we go with the exact same setup as last time. Should work, so no reason to, no reason to try to get fancy or smart on this one. You definitely can't hear it on video, but there's like a mass amount of bird noise outside of my apartment. I have like window open. It sounds like, uh, it sounds like it's not real and it's some kind of bird soundtrack because there's so many so many different birds chirping constantly what do i even want to ban here i feel like i don't really have to ban anybody probably either ramantu or liorius but i think we'll go with uh, ramantu I feel like I probably could win by banning anybody, but let's not get too too confident. Ramantu can still be super powerful, and if he has very good gear, he can certainly easily one-shot me with Ramantu and Tranda or Leorio Snook, so let's still play with caution, but we have the Tormin passive, we have bolsters at we have kind of tanky nukers. Neither one is attack scaling, so maybe we're good. And we can stun everybody except 
Yeah, I think we should go for the stun. The ally attack is super tempting, but now nah, let's go for the stun. Oh, nice. <laughs> we haven't got the Leorios frozen from the block damage passive. There you go, Tormin OP. Totally, totally confirmed. Dominate Live Arena today with Tormin. I don't know if the, <laughs> if the extra damage that I got with the Blessing, which is a huge deal by the way, 600 attack isn't a small deal, but I don't know if that even made the difference in any of these battles. Maybe it's just giving me more confidence to actually whip out the Tormin. Yeah, three wins in a row with Tormin. Can you, can you get better than that? <laughs> can we get the 10 battle win streak? Probably not, but Tormin OP, so maybe we can. Oh, we're meeting a clan mate, nice. By the way, if you're looking for a clan, our clan is kind of full, but obviously we're always recruiting and there might be spots at some point. There's kind of one spot, there's one guy with his alt account, oh, there's two guys, but one that is not gonna stay permanently. He's kind of in the clan just helping us. So we would have one spot for one clan member, but we really want to... Yeah, this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna get owned by clan mate because he knows what I'm gonna pick, but we want to get active, passionate people that are super into PvP, that have interest to compete in Platinum Arena and Live Arena. And maybe in the clan versus clan PvP, if we get that in raid at some point. We don't need like massive Hydra Slayers, but or like um or, or normal CVC points. We are trying to cheese those, do minimum points and get maximum rewards. So far we have won everything, and we're planning to keep it that way as long as possible. So that's not a big requirement, but we want like people that are super into PvP and active and, you know, get along with the clan and are not gonna cause drama or anything like that. We want to keep good vibes and not, not get too negative. So we kind of have no requirements, but kind of we have massive requirements. But if, it, if that sounds you, then DM me on the Discord. Don't don't just apply in the game. Actually, actually DM me on Discord. I feel like I can't go with my with my usual tricks, but I don't know what do I go with UDK. Now let's go with double reviver. Let's do this. Let's give him the floor. Do you want to pick Rothos? Do you want to pick UDK? Maybe we're gonna whip out the Tormin? <laughs> I don't know if we can beat him with that against Sifi, but we'll see. Maybe.
Should we go with Dormin? I kind of I kind of think our win streak is not gonna continue. But he went with the I don't know, Alcras, however you say it. He went with four snooker, so maybe we should see if we can keep the win streak up. I think we're gonna lose though. Okay, let's not get distracted by DMs. I need to keep some kind of uh, some kind of air of clay, clan leader. I feel like I pretty much get destroyed by my clan members 99% of time. And if this keeps up, then I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm not gonna be powerful enough to exert. Um, exert some control over the clan, so I need to show who is the boss, at least sometimes. <laughs> I can't get destroyed every time. Damn. Maybe I made a mistake there. Maybe I should have just gone for the stun and stunned the whatever that champion is called. I can't say the name. All of the other ones had like immunity boss or most of the boss were it. He didn't have immunity. I probably should have just gone for the stun and expect to not like get the AoE stun in the future anyway, so I should have just taken whatever I could. Nice, we got the cooldown reduction. Nice. But he does have those unresistible defense buffs and immunity buffs. Can I even do anything with uh, with Terminator? 2? Oh, we actually survived it with reaction. I think my Dormin has double reaction. Okay, we didn't get A2, we got A3. But actually, Lazarus took so many turns that he ran out of the immunity. Ah, oh, come on. Imagine that we we don't have enough damage to one shot him, then he counter attacks and locks our entire team with the counter attack. That sucks. Come on, Dormin. Do your thing. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe this is our... <laughs> nice! By the way, that looks super cool. He's like frozen in the air. Oh, and then you make a cut. See, here we go. Oh, what's that from the turn meter still? Anyway, see. Dormin OP. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I was I was getting too I was getting too too confident. It was time for a for a reality check. Anyway, it it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. We at least gave him a little bit of uh, pressure with the Tormin passive. But we're locked out. There's no way I can pull out another or pull out a revive before yeah before we die or get locked out again. Need those primals, maybe with Galatir, maybe Galatir could have taken care of this team. Would have been Force Affinity. Lazarus could weak it and we could probably pull out the revive a bit better with um with the swap on on the um 
on the primal champ anyway. I'm getting too too caught in my words. Wait, did I So that last battle was against Clan Mate, the other one against yeah cl cluster mate, not exactly clan mate, but it was a cluster mate. I'm seeing some um, pings in Discord and I didn't even notice that, that one. Oh fuck. Okay, this time we're not gonna go with the tournament. I don't think Rodos is gonna do super well against Warriors though, but I think that that's our option. Sorry if my keyboard might be too loud. Hopefully not, but... I think you probably can hear that tapping on the video. Wait. By the way, that's not Tormin Bassi, that's that's Angora 2 piece frostbite. Yeah, lockout this is OP. I really needed some weak hits on Angora or Rodos. Yeah. If I revive Rodos now, it's just gonna mm. I don't think I even should go for the revive. I think I should just go for the shield because Harima would just kill it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Did we get the revive on Dotsus with that A1 proc? That could uh, close, but okay. I think I think we lost it. I don't think I can get get out the revive. 
Ankara would have it, but we don't have Narsus in the team, so she does get CC'd. Okay, if we if we make a comeback now, that would be kind of shocking, but surely we're not gonna be a able to. I probably have enough damage to maybe kill the Marius, even though Harimo passive is up, but it's all low HP. Surely I can do it. Okay, nice. Okay, it's definitely game over. Even if I can kill kill them again, there's no way that um maybe he doesn't have any cooldowns. Maybe if uh, Harima only has a one and we proc counter attack and we don't get weak hits. Okay, maybe if we get extra turn and we don't get weak hits, maybe we can beat beat it. We have a chance. We have a chance, but odds are stacked against us. We need to be lucky here. Come on, Rotos, you can do it. Okay, okay. Get, get fucked. <laughs> anyway, we tried, we almost won, but you know, it is what it is. You you can't, um, can't win every battle. Almost. Would have been cool for the video, but we got some Thormin wins, so we'll take what we can. L let's get past for 20 though. I was stuck. I got to 420 on the last session and then I tanked all the way down to almost 400. I'm really hoping to get one more accessory on Mikake, but, but just haven't like any crappy accessory I would use on her on a stone skin. And then I could have Right now she's in a very weird, weird build that she has like um, five piece stone skin, one accessory, and then four piece on artifacts and two piece perception. But um, okay, here we're gonna go with UDK. But if I were to get just one more accessory, any kind of crappy one, then I could maybe get like two piece speed set or two piece perception. And that would probably be pretty big boost on her. She probably could get like, I don't know, 30 or 40 more speed pretty easily if I just get one more anything. It could it could be a five star like um, five star attack ring. A anything will do. But you know, <laughs> I'm sure everybody has those things. So it's the name of the game. I think we're gonna go with the Duchess instead of Ankara on this one. He does have Lazarus lockout, but we can we can't ban it and would be kind of if if we can get polymorph proc on maybe Taras at the start or on Lazarus at some point, that could make a massive difference. And we have multiple champions in them, Mia Garotos and Duchess, so there's a pretty good chance that we could do it.
Yeah, those five piece protection CFs, not only like it's the fastest build that you can make, five piece protection and two speed sets, but the immunity protection or the protected boss, especially when it's on immunity, it can be surprisingly strong. So protected defense buff is great too, but kind of situational. Immunity is always great. I think we'll save the A2 so that we could maybe get bars on Rotos and let's just A1 on the Narsus so we'll take less damage from the A2. I hope Lazarus doesn't one-shot me, but if we... Oh, fuck. Actually, this is kind of good. Yeah, we can get rid of the Sifi. I don't know if we can win, but we're gonna try to... Ah, I wish we would have broken the shield. The win condition here is that we survive long enough that Rodos can block revive, but the Lazarus is scary. It's gonna... Uh, yeah, okay, it's, we're gonna die. He's gonna nuke us through shield, and I, I guess he had... Oh, no. It went for the revive and switched to the support form. I think I should do the whale just for the heals. I want to get attack buff, but let's do the whale. Whale both ways around, of course, but for the heal. He, he can steal pretty easily, just... One shot my dodges, I'm kind of afraid that the next Lazarus nuke is gonna do it. Nah, okay. It's it's totally gonna do it, but maybe maybe Rotos has survived long enough that um sure, surely the next next A3 is gonna block revive. Maybe maybe if we can get there we can win. Damn, the Lazarus has so many buffs. Oh, no nuke. Oh, there are all on cooldowns. I think I'm just gonna go for A2. It's gonna stun Sifi. It's not gonna stun the nukers, but we're gonna reduce the turn meter. Maybe that's... Ah, okay. We didn't get turn meter reduction on Sifi or, or the stun, but we did still get it on the nukers, and maybe that's all, all we need at this point. The Lazarus is just hiding behind the whale the entire time and I can't touch it. Oh my god. And now they're back to full health. I guess we'll switch the form. I don't think the ally attack is gonna... Wait, wait, wait. Should I do this the A2 instead of A3? Let's do the A2. Yeah, they have so many buffs. Maybe, maybe this will help me. We, we got rid of the whale too. Damn, that hurt a lot. 53k is pretty good, considering that um, UDK had the whale and we took half of the damage from the A2 because we already hit that as many times. Otherwise, he would have just one shot my UDK, I guess. I don't think we would have then survived that one. Yeah, we had a shield. What? 91k, yeah. I think, like, we had the shield on the first one, so it did 51k after the shield. And I think that's with the damage halved, so I think it would have done, like, 180k on the A2. Maybe I didn't decrease our attack enough, because I think you can do 180k with the A2, but you need to have, like, insanely good gear. Maybe, 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 it almost feels like no way, but... Maybe he did it. I guess we'll find out 
the next time. I already hit the Taras, I think, two or three times. Two times. Wait, we still didn't have Block Revive. I thought surely we had it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How does the Mikaki Bassu work? I'm not gonna get stunned, am I? Nice. We can abuse it for extra turns. This is what people do when they have Rotos and Sifi. But I don't have Sifi, so I was never able to execute this tactic. I think if we do the A2, probably we get, we will get enough... Oh, no, no, it's not enough HP. Ah, fuck. I thought I would have enough HP to survive, but ah. Okay, we lost it. We lost it. I got I got too, um, too confident there. I should have just done, done the A2 on Taras. Maybe I could have won. It, it was kind of close though, but okay. I miscalculated. I thought I would get enough HP to get past 50%. That way I would have survived, barely, got an extra turn. Maybe I could have gone into town, but I guess I didn't. Kind of close though. Why does it show that the battle time was 0 minutes? That's kind of weird. I don't know if it was like this on the other battles or... I don't think that's normal. Okay, there, there goes our win streak. Three battle loss streak. N not good. It's kind of, kind of close though. It, it's almost giving me hope because um, many of those battles are super close. I always feel like, maybe not always, but lately, I feel like I'm so close having much higher win ratio, but I barely lose to people all the time. I don't know, maybe that's how everybody feels, but it feels like I am so close to doing like way better. I wanted to get back to top 100 like biohack, but I don't think it's really... I don't think I'm good enough for it just yet. I mean, I'm gaining points, but very slowly. I don't have sessions where I get like 70 points or something like that like some other people do. I might even lose points in some videos, or maybe I get like 10 points or 15 points, and but it barely, barely counts as winning, to be honest. Because you get one more point from win than you get from loss. I think we'll go with this. We're not gonna have any supports left though, and you're gonna suck if he gets the Rotos. I think he might still go for it, but nah, probably not. I have both Armands and UDK. He wouldn't dare, he wouldn't dare to go with Rotos. Let's see. I really want to get Rotos, even if it's against Narcissus, I might ban it, we'll, we'll see, but surely he's not gonna pick Rotos. Chu Chen and Lockout. Mm, yeah, I think th this is definitely gonna... Should be Mikake battle, but we can't pick it, goddamn. Tormin is a no-go. 
Yeah, I guess we'll just go with Rotos and Wukong. It's, it's not like Wukong is bad, but I'm terrified of Harimas and, well, mostly Harimas. But if he picks it now, I'm just gonna ban it and I'll face, face the wrath of the Narses and Warlord. At least I don't have shields on me. Ah, oh, Ronda. I think we're gonna go for Ronda ban actually. Yeah, we're kind of used to getting locked out all the time and it doesn't scare me. <laughs> scare me as much as it used to be, even though lockout is super strong and hard to deal with, but at this point you can't avoid getting locked out. No, not on my account at least and not on most most people. Uh, I, I wish we would have got an extra turn. I probably could have killed the Sifi with the A2 at that that point. It doesn't have Harma passive, even though it's with defense buff, but I feel like I might have been able to do it, maybe. Can Wukong get back up in time? I don't think we want to go with the heal. It's not going to be too many buffs, so maybe I should just do it anyway. Not like he can block revive with the Narsus. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of doing the shield against Narsus, but I think the heal was worth it. Come on, ah. Chujen is too OP. We didn't get the turn with Rodos. Just here have the A. Oh, oh, he doesn't have A2 or even A3 yet, so. No, 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 come on, Chujen. You're doing me like two. Oh my god. I would have gotten. A turn with Rotos before Narsus for sure, but Shu Chen is so powerful that the Narsus actually took two turns and I didn't get the turn in between, even though I had more turn meter than the Narsus. There's no way I can get it with Wukong, right? 1A2 is all it's gonna take, assuming maybe even without Helm Smasher, but certainly with the proc. But Chujen has been so powerful. Uh, please no lockout, please no lockout. No, no, no. Ah. Without the lockout, it also reduced our turn meter. But without the lockout, we would have won. I'm like, for sure. Nah. So close. Like, this is what I was just saying before this battle. So many battles are so close very close. Maybe if my Wukong was like thin speed faster with the faction guardian, maybe I would have won this battle. If he just got the turn before the warlord got revived by Sifi, I would have been good. I'm getting like baited by Blarium. It's so close, yet I'm like uh, in four battle. Lost streak or is it already five?
Okay, he got the Narcissus. Um, UDK Angora? Yeah, let's go with UDK Angora. Rotos Wukong again. I mean, I lost with this the last time, but I guess we're... We're gonna try it again. Kaimara. Kaimara is not very popular anymore. Not saying that he couldn't beat me with that one. And plus four Kaimara is pretty cool. He might might be able to get resistance build easier with that, but he doesn't have five star blessing, so probably not. Even at plus four though, I mean Rixia can do the same thing without resistance with multiple other things that she's doing so you can't even like compare Kaimar to Quixia. Wait, I don't think we fought the same guy. It's almost the same same team comes from both sides, but I think it was different player. I'll have to double check after this fight. Somehow we survived it and got the polymorph, but I guess we just <laughs> we just prolonged the inevitable for one turn. But the polymorph might be good though. I don't know if we oh he didn't go for Rotos. I don't know if we can get the Rotos revive. Oh maybe that's why he didn't do it. Yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe we can get the like turn on Rotos with the revive before Narsus gets another turn. But maybe we don't now because he didn't kill Rotos. We might have otherwise. Yeah. Mika get OP with all of that. Turn meter reduction. But oh boy, we we have Wukong time. Um with Helm Smasher Brock, everybody's gonna die like three times over. But I feel like they might die otherwise too. Come on, let us see. I don't know if that was with it or not. It's kind of hard to say, but it was good enough. It was all that we needed. Good job, Wukong. I don't think I used Wukong on that many battles on this video. Okay, was it the same guy? No, it wasn't. Yeah, the other one has Shu Chen, but they were kind of similar. Okay, Angora and Narses. Yeah, we're probably... Mm. Do I want to go with this? I'm not gonna have any revivers. I don't really like doing this, but 
I don't really like picking Darts as this early on. Let's go with this. The bolster is gonna suck against the Narsus if we don't ban it, but if I can ban it, I probably will go for it. Maybe, maybe if I'm well, he he still has the last pick, pick, but maybe I can go with Helic at them. If he doesn't pick any lockout or boss chip now, oh, he did, yeah. Then we can do it. I think, yeah, I think we're just gonna go with the Duchess and probably his last champion is gonna be a lockout, but we're gonna pray that we can survive anyway. But yeah, we're gonna go with this. I don't think he can really ban my Rotos, so it's not gonna be just Wukong against Harium passive. I think might be doable. We might get destroyed, or it might be super close, and we barely win. Ah, Galatir. No, but we're still gonna go for Narsus Pan, but it's gonna suck. We don't have any cleanse or anything like that. Come on, get polymorphed. Polymorph first turn. It's still gonna be hard with the Harma passive, but that will buy us some time. No? Okay. Was kind of smart move from his part to not open with the bar strip and lockout, since he doesn't have to. And that way he can dodge the dodge stone skin. don't really have anything to say. It's like a waiting game. We're seeing who gets polymorph procs and or doesn't and how does the battle go. It's um... Oh nice, nice. Even if I do get some turns here, it's still gonna be... Basically I need to get uh... <laughs> I need to steal HP with Rotos A2. I can beat with the revive. Outside of that it's gonna take a while. Damn my chair is kind of facing out from the picture. I definitely have a way, way better video than just Couple days ago, though, it looks way better. I got some actual lights, but 
I guess I still need to fine tune it. I don't know, even though Harima got polymorphed and we're kind of doing good, but we're getting control so hard, Rotos is... Did I even do... I haven't done a single A2 on Rotos, so... I don't know if we can do this. Do I even want to kill the Harima at this time? I don't, I don't. It's just gonna re get revived with cooldowns. It's better to let it take a turn and attack me with the decreased defense. But it's good to keep it with low, low HP, that way we can kill it if it's, um, if it's useful. Damn. Three turn lockout. And then a stun. I mean, I can get extra turns on Rotos, that's the way I... I'm almost surprised that Harima didn't beat me yet. But he did get polymorphed and we did get the decreased defense, so... I probably kind of got lucky. Oh, we survived it, nice. Okay. Give us extra turn here, and then we could do something interesting. Ah, dude. We, w if we got the extra turn there, we would have killed Ankara. I mean, Galatir still ha would have pulled Revive, but we would have gotten somewhere. It would have been progress. Okay, we got the Life Harvest proc. Maybe that's useful. I guess I should have, should have killed it earlier than now that I think about it. Maybe if we can keep the Harima low enough HP that Wukong can kill it with A1, that could be useful. Assuming that we don't have decreased attack of course, because that damage was like nothing. But every time he does it, he has a chance to get polymorphed. By the way, Galatir OP or what? I mean, this is kind of BS. I feel like I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm delaying the, but okay, to be fair, his Galatir is like super, super lucky, huh? I feel like Galatir should have been polymorphed like five times by now. Never mind Harima, but Galatir does so many depots. How is it not getting polymorphed? But I'm just delaying the inevitable. Even if I'm able to struggle this long, Harima damage is ramping up and surely I'm not gonna actually win. <laughs> There's no way. Can I even get the revive off on Duchess? Probably not. Damn, Wukong is doing 5k damage and he has such insane gear. Okay, finally, finally we got the polymorph. Finally something useful. Okay, maybe my luck is about to turn around. Now that Galatir is polymorphed, Maybe Roto7 could get a turn here. Maybe maybe I could actually <laughs> be able to use some other skill. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Just stunned again, okay. I was getting carried there. Carried away. I thought I could maybe maybe use an ability on Rotos for the first time in eight minutes of battle, but nah. Not gonna happen. Not <laughs> not on these guys, watch. 
painful. Yeah, it's, it's start, starting to get super scary. Haruma could just one-shot my entire team at any time. Even if she doesn't have the biggest damage at the start, but it's gonna be still very hard after a bit, and surely it already has that kind of damage. Oh, oh, oh. I think I need to go for the A2 on Harima. I kind of want to do it on the Angora though. Should I do it on Angora? No, we're gonna do it on Angora actually. No weak hit, we're not gonna take any chances. We got it. I don't think we can heal the Angora with the A3 right now. But maybe with maybe Rotos the so Wukong A1 is enough to kill it though, if he just gets a turn. Okay, never mind. I think did we win? I feel like um, I can kill Angora. I mean, they have Galatir, of course, but it's kind of looking good. Yeah, let's do the A2 again, not, not the A3. Let's do A2. Let's, yeah, let's do A3 on this one. We have attack buff, it should be enough to kill them or proc the passive on Galat. Oh, he was in the wrong form. What? 10 minutes of torture and somehow we beat this guy honestly i'm <laughs> i thought i have a, like zero chance to win win the battle when we were like seven minutes in and i still haven't used a single single ability on any champion in my team but okay somehow somehow the luck, luck turned around and we got it we basically brute forced him with our insanely tanky dodges and we were just Praying on the polymorph card to give us some blessings and let, let us have a win against opponent that we shouldn't win against, but we did get it. So good, good job, good job, polymorph. Thanks a lot. Anyway, Should I go with UDK? No, let, let's let's get the duo. What can I even pick here? I kind of want to go with... Should I go with Helicat? Maybe he doesn't have Lazarus. Helicat could be kind of fun if he doesn't. Let's pray that he doesn't. Astralit, what? But he doesn't have like somebody else, it's it's just Astralit. By himself, do I even need to ban it? I don't think so. We'll see, M maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Maybe he, if he has really fast Astralit and Sifi, he might be able to kill my Narsus before it gets a turn. 
that could be a problem, but if my nuts Narsus gets um not Narsus Armans, if Armans gets a turn without being bombed, there's like no way I can lose. Okay. Hmm. But oh he weakened. Oh that's an option. Even if he did die to bombs, he doesn't have spread. Ellie got still for sure. Would have gone before before the Leorio, so I feel like we probably would have been fine actually. This is kind of a weird matchup, but I think it's kind of in my favor to be honest. Astralit was kind of random random blast pick. I don't know why he went with that. I mean Astralit can be powerful, but usually Usually Astralite team is gonna be like very fast and they're gonna have like um, Lockout or multiple lockouts and Maybe like bomb spread something like that. Usually they have like More than one lockout if they go with Astralite and they go first Okay, okay, very good Helicatopi Oh, oh, nice. We got. We breached the 420 um, mark. We got past higher than I was last time, I'm pretty sure. So, if we can get like one or two wins, we can call it a great success. Oh, another clan mate. <laughs> okay, let's see how we do. Yeah, I, I guess we can go with dots as some UDK and Rotas, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Even though Rotas is already like self-counter against Narcissus, but we're gonna do it. If I can get the A2 on Narcissus once or twice, then it kind of uh, flips the other way. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Narcissus ban again, that's that's for sure. Oh fuck. <laughs> Gnisha, god damn it. I feel like I'm yeah, this is a this is a bomb team that is gonna get me, I think. God damn it. I don't think I can survive the Gnisha. I don't think so. Everybody is in Stone Skin except Wukong, but at this point we still have to go for Narcissus Pan and pray that my Duchess can survive it, but probably not. Okay, nice. So we... I didn't think about that. I guess... Um, Knishark... I wasn't paying attention, but <laughs> I was looking at the other screen, but I think Knishark weak hit on the skill that reduces the cooldown of the uh, duration of the bombs. 
And that was super good because we're only only running four P stone skin on Duchess, not six piece, like probably most people. Oh, we got another bomb. That's not good. Mm, yeah, even still, uh, my Duchess is a beefy beefy girl, no not the boy, beefy girl. She can she can take she can take some pounding, pardon my French. She can take some pounding as long as she doesn't have stone skin. Okay, okay. Wukong A2, I think everybody's gonna die except Angora, unless we don't weak it. Okay, it's over. Nice. There you go. Destroyed my clanmate, finally. <laughs> I always lose to my clanmates. We finally won against one. I think we lost like one or two battles against clanmates on this video already. I, I, maybe they go to... Yeah, we lost to Yumeko. I feel like we probably lost to somebody else as well, but... Okay. We got one one win. Mm, I, can, I can quickly ro roll that weapon. We can still do one fight. Let's see if we can... I'm just gonna straight YOLO to the triple and see what we get. I don't have time to gear those... Cleanse those gears otherwise. Okay. Didn't get it. I don't think anything else. Yeah, it's five star. What, what was the weapon? Meh. Not not good. Anyway. One more win. Surely. For sure we're gonna win. Maybe a rematch against Audi. Okay, no Dutches. No, not that. Yudi can Angora. Okay, we're gonna have to face the our base. I really wanted to ban it, but now we always have to ban Armands. Okay, good luck. Pocket infinite. I don't know. I don't know if I should even do that. I want to get win. Actually, good luck to my guardian savior Polymorph. Let's let's see some procs. You can do it. Get the our base Polymorph. That that would be good. Well, basically anybody can get Polymorph except the Siegfront, but I really want to get it on our base. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, never mind, it's already over. Is that a rare... a rare breed which is called... Support Wukong? Was, was that not the Nuke build? What? <sighs> We're locked out, there's nothing we can do here. Surely. I don't know if I even... Maybe I should have just hit Grixia, because we can kill kill the Seafront through the passive anyway, if we get as far as to use the A2, but now we're just gonna die to the next A1 from Seafront. Wait, can I move... Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. I could move before Siegfront, and I did get the buff strip, 
which is kind of lucky. So, I mean, I could have got the Polymorph. Wait. Okay, let's see if it's a support or nook. Surely it's some kind of nook. Yeah, okay, it's some kind of nook, yeah. It was, I guess, kind of high accuracy, but... Or maybe I got unlucky. But okay, we, we lost it. Do, have, do we have time for one more? Okay, we do. Okay, okay. Let's end it on win. Come on. We can do it. Yeah, we are just gonna lose to him twice. I don't. There's nothing that I can do differently here, I don't think. I guess if we avoid the Rotos. He got the Wukong again. I mean, what am I gonna do? Yeah, let's go with the Duchess instead of Angora. Maybe we can get the Revive, but. We're not gonna have the Krixia. Uh, we're not gonna have the Ankara A1 against the Krixia. So I don't know if Polymorph is any better than that. We're gonna have more survivability though, so maybe that does it. Ah, Queen Eva. I think we have to go for that ban this time. And he still has immunity. It's so annoying that so many of those primals have the immunity. What do I even do? I don't know what I can do here. We're still gonna go with Trotos. It's just the best option, but it's not gonna work out. I'm planning to use Eva when I get 4P stone skin. I need like one one more stone skin piece on her, but it's super RNG. I, I was thinking maybe if I run like slow, maybe 200 speed 4P stone skin build on her. Maybe I can just outslow, uh, maybe I can just outslow their, their stone skin and maybe Maybe sometimes get some uh, some random wins with her as as like a backup nuker, not not one of my main nukers, but a backup one. Okay, we, yeah, we we can't beat this account. Impossible. I mean, we had some wins. We had <laughs> a lot of losses. I don't think I have anything insightful or smart to say this time. We did get some tournament wins, so maybe it's maybe it's good content, but other than that we were mostly getting owned, so anyway, that's it. Good luck with your live arena and weekend and see ya.